Let me show you how to run Google Gemma 3 large language model on your local machine and any other open source model. This is a state of the art model from Google. It has 128,000 token count. It's in over 140 languages, meaning they can understand 140 languages and multimodal, meaning images and even text. The best thing about this model is because it's very small. 27 billion parameter and look at the performance compared to DeepSeek R1 that is 671 billion parameter. So let's get straight in right there. And the first thing you need to do to get this installed on your local machine is to download Olama. Olama allows you to run local language model on your local computer either with GPU or without GPU. And how do you know if you have downloaded Olama? You need to check with your CMD. So I'm going to put up my CMD and right here I will check by writing type in Olama. If I type Olama, if it's installed, it's going to show you it's installed. If it's not installed, you won't get anything like this. All right. And if you install Olama and hold version, you need to update to Olama 0.6 and above. Otherwise, Gemma will not work because Gemma 3 actually is built on a new architecture that the previous version of Olama cannot run. So the newest version of Olama from 0.6 upward is already um, updated with the architecture and can run Gemma 3. So if you have downloaded the previous one, all you just have to do is come back to the home page, which I'm going to show you and download the latest one. Once you install it, it's going to override the previous version you have. So first, let's check what version we have. So I'm going to type Olama and on this version, it's going to show me what version I'm running. I'm running 0 0.6, so I'm fine. But for you, go to this video, go to this link. You can find the link in the video description and you're going to download the one that is suitable for your operating system. And after that is downloaded and installed, you'll be able to also run Olama and get all the things I'm getting right here. Olama is going to run for you. Now that you've installed Olama, the next step is actually to install the model on Olama. So you can go right there on olama.com slash search and you see all the models you can pull. Gemma is one of that. And Gemma has four variants, 1 billion, 4 billion, 12 billion, and 27 billion parameter, depending on the one that you choose. You have to bear in mind some things. So I put that right there into this slide just to guide you. What is the capacity of your system before you choose the model version you are running? It is important to focus on this left and right hand side. If you have 8 gig, restrict yourself to 1 billion. 16 gig, restrict yourself to 4 billion parameter. 32 gig, restrict yourself to 12 billion. In fact, don't go for 27 billion if you don't have up to 64 gig RAM because you want to make it easier to run and still carry out operation on your system. Having said this, so we're coming right here and you're going to click on the first 1 billion parameter. Let's start with this. I'm going to copy this link directly. Copy. And I'll come back to my CMD and I can tap right here. Of course, I can paste it here and run. But I also want to know, do I have any Olama model or any model installed on my system? If I type Olama and list, you're going to see there's nothing on this system. So let's go ahead and paste this and run. It's going to check if there's a model on my system. If there's no model, then it's going to pull the manifest and start downloading it. And that's what is happening right here. So 1 billion parameter is just 815 megabytes and with some additional artifact it might be around now there are something megabytes which is still less than a gig let's just take it a gig why this is running it's going to be done shortly so fast once it's done it's going to show success and i'll be able to interact and engage with it olama allows you to engage with this model right on your command line so there's no ui ux for that so it's verifying and just making sure everything is right in the in this video, I'm going to show you how to get an interface that looks like ChatGPT where you can engage conversationally with your model rather than this environment I just command line. So it's running, it's successful, it's going to ask me to start chatting. And that's how you know it's there. Send a message. Okay, write me a joke about computer. Okay, it's there. If I, want to, if I need to move out of this, I'm going to just say bye. And then it takes me out. I can go back to Lama and say, Lama list, what are the models that I have right there? Oh, I have Gemma 3.1 now. So if you want to get the other model that looks like um, UI UX, if you want to get the part that looks like UI UX, like ChatGPT and those chat interface, you need to download Open Web UI because this gives you that experience like this, like ChatGPT. Okay, and it makes it easier to install this model as well. But you need Olama to be installed. Uh, if Olama is not installed, it can actually pull Olama alongside, but one thing you need to also install is docker so make sure you download the latest version of docker desktop sign in register 
and once register, all you have to do is come over here. If your system has um, does not have GPU, just copy this link. If it has GPU to support your model running, then copy this one and come back to your command line. But before you come back to your command line, make sure that your Docker is running. This is my Docker. Is there? The container is there, but I'm just going to show you this. All right. And when I come over here and paste that link and run it, because I already have it, just show me, hey, I already have this thing. If you don't have it, it's going to install and create the, pull the image, start the container within Docker. So you can then pull it up. Um, because mine is already there in Docker, I'm just going to come back here and this is it. It's running. I'm going to click on this port URL, this link. It will open my browser. Show me this. If this is your first time, I'm going to ask you to register. Put your name, your email, your password. Just for the very first time, you log in. I'm going to log in now with my details. Okay, I've logged in. And you can see by default, I can see model here. Amazing. This one is just submit your question to anonymous air chatbot and vote on the best response. Interesting. Um, this one is by default because you have pulled one already and they are testing this. Um, so I have Gemma here. Awesome. And I can continue to engage with it there. Oh, tell me, tell me a joke about computer. And this continue to run. You can see the joke. Why did the computer break up with the internet? Because it said I need some space. Mm. And the good thing about this interface, you can capture, you can upload file, you can even use code interpreter alongside and few other features that have been added. This is really amazing. So. Other thing here is you can add more model right here. For example, if you want to pull the updated, um, probably I can come back here and look for one more model to pull. That's very easy. Um, DeepSeek R1. And let's pull the smallest parameter, which is um, 1.5 billion. If you want to install this within all, um, Open Web UI, you don't need to run all of this in your command line. Just come over here and copy the name here. Control C. Go back to your browser where you're running open web url paste it here it's going to ask you do you want me to pick pull this from Mulama? it's already to understand the model so if i click on it it's going to start pulling the manifest installing it directly you know so i've shown you how to run these things within um your command line and right here you can also do it in your um gui experience you know graphic user interface experience if you enjoyed this video do like and subscribe I, I'm going fully into this. I'm going to be showing you AI automation and the rest of these stuff. The, the best way for you to actually master and get ahead is by doing. And I don't have a technical background, but I learn and I'm going to be showing you and learning alongside with you. So if I can do this, you too, you can. And start by, you know, coming close together. Let us grow and learn together. Make sure you are practicing this as well. Right? It's almost done downloading DeepSeek. The good thing about this interface is, yes, I can pull up new chart. I can engage with this. DeepSeek has been downloaded, the 1.5 billion parameter. You can see I have it here now. I can switch to that model. And the same question, tell me a joke about computer. I'm going to put that right here. Tell me a joke about computer. What do we have? This one is from DeepSeek. It's a reasoning model. So it's going to think about it first, about that question, then come back to you with something. So thought for three seconds, and these are the thought process, and this is it. Why did the computer break up with the internet? Because it said, I need some space. Interesting. Gemma is telling me the same thing. DeepSeek is telling me the same thing. Okay. But you can see, you can decide and you can fine tune this model later. In other videos, I will show you all of this. Thank you for waiting up to this point. If you have any question, drop in the comment. I'm going to be of support and help. And let's grow together. Bye for now.